the sacred within creation and the light of the sacred within creation and our relationship to the light of the sacred within creation has been eradicated, has been censored from our consciousness. It has been censored so successfully that we don't even remember it anymore. It is not even in the stories of our mythology. You find it hinted at in the poem of a nature mystic. But it has gone. We no longer have a relationship to the inner worlds. And what people don't realize, because it, we don't even know they exist really in the same way, is that the effect that has had on the inner worlds. I, I would say from the beginning I find it quite interesting that in our culture, in the Christian culture, there, there is still the awareness of angels. Apparently it's very common in North American culture that people believe in angels. Angels belong to the world of light. They, they, exist, um, they exist in the world of light. They're very beautiful. In Sufi tradition there are angels of power and there are angels of beauty. And um, some Sufi traditions work directly with the angelic world. And it's interesting that they, they don't belong to the manifest physical world. And we have kept them. We have, we have kept them in our consciousness. Whether we really know how to consciously relate to them, I am not so sure. But, for example, the Davic world that belongs to the world of creation, they are the inner forces behind creation, the Devas. They're a beautiful nature Devas, beautiful nature Devas. There was an experiment, as many of you know, at Findhorn in Scotland to begin to work with the nature spirits again. And there is always the joke as a result in this very infertile land where they had this center, they produced very large carrots. Um, I'm sure they did more than that, but they brought a little bit into our consciousness. There are these nature devas that in other cultures in different parts of the world are, are very much part of the collective consciousness. But we've forgotten about nature devas. Just as the whole world of nature spirits has actually receded, we can no longer directly access them like we used to. And, and I should say from the, the beginning that if, if we're in an ecological crisis, which is a crisis to do with the forces in creation that are now working against us, you know, we are interestingly destroying our own ecosystem. We are in this strange madness of a culture, of a race that is actually destroying the, what it subsists on. Um, it's a very strange phenomena that, that you're actually destroying the very ground that nourishes you. Uh, the, the very air that you breathe you are polluting. And um, you know, I would have thought from the very beginning that if you wanted to redeem the balance in creation, you should work with the forces within creation which are, of course, traditionally the nature devas. They're very, very, some of them are very, very powerful. They understand the inner workings of nature. Just as, for example, in the shamanic tradition, how were the certain tribes taught the healing properties of plants, taught how to take the poison out of animals? How were they taught it? Not through experimentation, because the plants told them, because the animals told them, because the Spirits in nature told them the magic, the healing properties within nature. There was a, a communication between the inner and the outer worlds that revealed the secrets within creation. And, and paradoxically, we have actually got to this place of ecological imbalance that is becoming catastrophic without any way of communicating with the forces within nature that understand how nature works. So we, are, we have made ourselves blind without even realizing we have made ourselves blind. And, and this is you know, phenomenally stupid among anything else because the, the nature devas are not just about growing big carrots. They're about the very forces of nature and how they work and how they can be healed and how they can be redeemed. But 
as we forgot, as the divine became transcendent, as the priestesses and all of the culture that supported the sacred within creation were burnt, were destroyed, were eliminated. So the inner world actually receded from our consciousness. It, it, it slowly separated. And I say you can see that in various traces, as I love Shakespeare, he, he talks about it. And the two worlds, the inner and the outer world, became further and further apart. And this is the heritage that we have. This is the, if you like, the, you know, the secret that nobody is saying, which is that the ecological crisis is founded upon a very deep spiritual crisis in creation.